I don't understand why I'm still here. You know why. You've been arrested on suspicion of assault. Now, we have evidence to suggest that you were at a bar called the Tempo Lounge in Shoreditch on the Saturday night in question. Now, why don't you just tell us what happened? I was there with a few mates from work. It wasn't a very big night. I left at 11. But I didn't even see any trouble, let alone be involved in any. Benjamin, someone was glassed in the face. Your prints were on that glass. Is this down to my dad? Is he trying to pin anything on me just to punish me? We know you were at the bar. Who were you with? I just told you. Mates from work. Do you know a man called Ashley Ford? <sighs> Never heard of him. We've got a witness that puts him with the group of men involved in the fight. He was arrested. The Crown Prosecution released him because of the unreliability of the witness. I told you, I don't know this guy. Look, the bar was packed that night. Anyone could have picked up a glass that I had left on a table. You're wasting both our time here. There's nothing to suggest that Benjamin had anything to do with the assault gun. No, apart from the fact his prints were all over the weapon. I reckon he's being honest, Gov. I think it's a matter of wrong place, wrong time. Besides, someone else has been done for the offence. Yeah, but they didn't go down for it, did they? Well, no, but the word is Fordham did it, though. I mean, he was he's done time for aggravated assault three years ago. Last year he was nicked for possession of a Class A drug with intent to supply and got off. Well, the tempo lunch, the bar where the incident took place, has got a fairly checkered past anyway, Gov. I mean, it's been closed down for drugs twice. Yeah, the bouncers are running the dealers inside. Unfortunately, one of them was a key witness for the prosecution. It turns out he has a form of CPS dropped it in Fordham Hall. You asked Benjamin whether he knew this Fordham? He's adamant he never met him before. Besides, Benjamin said the place is packed. The only people he spoke to were his mates all night. Lots of wooden melt, eh? Go. I've looked over the case files, Gov. There's nothing to suggest that he's been involved in a GBH. I'll speak to the custody sergeant. I'll tell him to put no further action on the note. He'll be cautioned for the drugs, and he can be released. Thanks, Neil. Do you get the feeling this could be resolved with the father and son chat over a couple of points? I need a new battery. I thought you'd have a bit more of a spring in your set this morning. You what? Romantic dinner for two. It's yeah. all over the station. This place is unbelievable. Can you deal with Mrs. Devy? She wants to make a missing persons report about her daughter. Sure. Hey, Mrs. Devy, if you go with this officer, I'll be with her in just a sec, all right? How long's a kid been missing? Two hours, and her daughter's 27, so not exactly a kid. Two hours? Not exactly a missing person, JT. Sorry about that, Mr. Devy. Cheers, Tane. Please, sit down. Right. First of all, could you tell me your daughter's name? Manisha. She has been working nights this week. This morning, she was going to come over to my house for breakfast. Could she have dropped her to see some friends, do some shopping? She rang me from the hospital where she works. She was running late, and she wanted me to know. And you've not heard from her since? I popped out to buy some things for breakfast. When I came back, there was this text on her mobile. I have rang her number three times now. I haven't heard anything. What would Manisha be wearing, Mrs. Devi? She usually wears jeans. And she has black hair. I'm so sorry. That's all right. You take your time. She has black hair. And it's quite long. And, and she ties it at the back. She often wears a, a scarf, pale pink, with a brooch attached. A dragonfly brooch. And you say she works at the hospital? She was in a hurry to leave. She may not even have time to change. She could have left in her blues. She's a nurse. And which hospital does she work at? St. Hughes. And where's your house, Mrs. Devi? Petherton Gardens. She normally gets the tube home. Right. Well, we'll make some inquiries, but try not to worry, Mrs. Devi. 
People usually turn up within the first few hours. Make sure to call us if she does turn up. Tina. Listen to this. Mrs. Gwen Harrison of 22 Chigwell Avenue, London E8, is slightly hysterical because her little terrier's gone missing. She claims that our neighbour murdered it. Come on, let me have that. I'll deal with it. Are you okay? I'm just fed up with sitting behind this desk all day while the CPS keep me on tender hooks. When's their decision due on the Lee Thomas case? Any day now. And the longer it takes, the more paranoid I get. Now, come on. You use your ass legitimately in self-defence. It, it, it does happen, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's not every day that suspect kills over and dies, is it? Come on, not long now. I hope so. Because I'm going mental with this business hanging over me. Is there any chance I can go on the front desk with JT just to take my mind off things? No, until you return to full duties. No interacting with the public, I'm afraid. Sorry. Maybe I should just stand in the corner with a paper bag over me head. What are you up to? Young woman reported missing. Just trying to trace her movements this morning. Nothing's going to Sheila. Do you want to tell me about your private life, Lance? Of course you don't. Because we're just work colleagues who don't know each other very well. I didn't mean to cause any offence. I got the impression it was out in the open and Sheila's a good friend of mine. I just like to keep my work and my private life separate, OK? Me and Dan attended a shout near there this morning. Yeah, so did I. Involved a young woman. Your missing person's not a prostitute, is it? Do you think I'll be devoting this much attention to a prostitute who's just dropped off the radar for a few hours? It's a nurse. Yeah. Asian girl, mid twenties. But Mrs. Debbie's daughter's only been missing a few hours. Well, at the time, I didn't think much of it myself, Mum. But earlier in the day, me and PC Murphy attended a shout in Purbeck Street. There'd be some kind of altercation between a young Asian woman and a bloke in a white van. It all got a bit nasty. And why would you think this woman would be her? There's something else, Mum. Me and PC Casper dealt with the call to the home of a prostitute, Kathy Fisher. A punt had a girl on the street outside the house. A woman broke it up. She was a nurse. Oh, let me join the dots up here. The missing daughter's a nurse. The two incidents happened only minutes apart, around 7.30 this morning. Manisha also sent her mum a text at around 7.50 a.m. asking for help. Mrs. Devy hasn't been able to get hold of her daughter since. You think we should hand this over to CID, Mum? I'll have a word with DS Nixon, just to be on the safe side. You keep digging. You two, get back to the prostitute and find out who the panther was. We've tried already, Mum. Yeah, well, keep trying. Go on. Mum. Me and Sheila can go and talk to the shop owner again. Get more details on the incident that he saw this morning. Sheila? Sheila? What's going on? I'm confused, that's all. Do I have to spell it out for you? We have a lovely evening and then you go and leave me on the doorstep with barely even a kiss on the cheek. I mean, I don't mean to be pushy, Gabriel, but do you fancy me or don't you? We'll talk about this later, shall we? Fine. I missed you last night. Glad to hear it. So, any more anonymous letters? No. Whoever's sending them is just trying to intimidate us both, and I'm not going to give them that pleasure. You coming or what? Yeah. Yeah. Ben, in here. Just get away from me. I'm serious, Dad. I won't be anywhere near you now. Look, I'm worried about you. Worried? You should be proud of me. Did you know they've just offered me a partnership in the business? No, I didn't know that. You made me feel like a real low-life criminal today. I don't deserve that. Look, I don't regret what I've done. What do you want? What are you, a grown man? Hanging around dodgy bars, taking coke. I've got a better life than you. Is that the problem? Ben! Gotta go. 